Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is B reactor. Um, you're very lucky. I think about 11 times as many people wanted to come on these tours as actually got on. So if you're if you're here, you're one in 11. So that's. Oh, yeah, I should mention no water or food inside the reactor. If you want to have a snack, um, please have that on the bus. Yes. Yeah, we'd uh, make up ch uh, charges in little boxes of 32 pieces and we'd have an elevator here bring them up to where we were working. We'd reduce the water pressure and then on each side we'd valve down the uh, cross headers, reduce the pressure on that row and do the same in the rear face and uh, take the cap off, hook up a charging machine and uh, charge pneumatically. The original charge we did, even on the newer reactors, we did it with a broom handle. <laughs> but then that was faster charging. You could use more, more broom handles than you could charge machines. Uh, this little thing here was a uh, copper tube from each tube goes into the control room and you'll see the fanlet board in there. Each of the 2004 tubes was monitored every day for change in pressure. And uh, the change in pressure would more often mean that you had a rupture in the tube or a tube leak. Uh, the tubes did wear out. <laughs>
guess I apologize again, I don't remember. But the thing to remember was to watch these are the Panamet gauges, and they had mercury switches on them. These are safe, there's no mercury in there anymore. And we took it out. And any change of five pounds, and this would trip that uh, safety circuit system and shut the whole reactor down. All of the horizontal rods and the safety rods would go in. It would not normally affect the ball 3X system. And, uh,